Hello and welcome to the Lander 98 channel. Today we are going to go over microphone. Yeah, I know it is. We're gonna go over the completed little bit <laughs> Elbender Classics 2 on the PS4. Now, yes, you could probably play this on the PS3 as well, and someone is playing it right now. However, on the PS3, it probably failed to load a lot. Here, the kid 20 is the first to play it before me, even at least on the Earth. So, we're gonna give this a go. Now, L-Bender stands for Little Big Import Knights Drag Racing. Now, yes, I know because it's classics, you'd think muscle cars, and that well, that's not import. Well, there's a couple imports in this, so technically it works. We're just gonna go. Alright, let's play. And there's the picture. Might even use that for, I don't know, maybe the thumbnail of the video. I don't my phone. Actually, no, I can't do that. It's a new feature for the YouTube uh, YouTube Studio to where you can. Uh... Oh crap! I didn't think about copyright. I know this song will be fine. Not sure about the other one though. Yeah, those they won't last 30 seconds. But new YouTube Studio update, you can actually change the thumbnail with a photo on your phone for once. So that's fantastic. Alrighty. We got $1,500. Oh, may as well take a look through the cars first. 84 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. Got a 91 Chevrolet Sprint Turbo. Now, this definitely was a requested car. Don't think I would have done this car if it wasn't requested. Kind of a cool car. Short, short shifts, for sure. Got an 80 Ford Bronco. Finally putting trucks and s well trucks and suvs into the mix didn't do it for the first one definitely didn't do it for the first classics when i meant first one i meant by uh, the first elbender the one that's marked 2.0 even though it's the first one out got 57 thunderbird got a 55 bel air coupe coupe hay into tier two. Now I think it'll mention it. I'm pretty sure I'd put it. But the tiers are marked out by performance points. Zero to two hundred is tier one. Two hundred ten to four hundred is tier two. Four hundred ten to six hundred is tier three, and six hundred ten up to a thousand is tier four. So tier four definitely has a lot of play to it. 84 Ferrari 328 GTS. <clears throat> 67 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu. Renault 5 Turbo Phase 2. 65 Pontiac GTO. This is the one that they had in Pro Street. I like this one. Oh. I already see an error. Actually, it's probably not an error. I could probably buy it for that much, but it should be more. It should be 12,000. Nah, just 12,000. I know what I'm doing next update. 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. So, so it's good. 67 Shelby GT500. 70 Plymouth Superbird. 62 Ferrari 250 GTO. 89 Nissan Skyline GTR. 66 Jaguar XJ13. I also just remembered another thing I didn't do. Probably expect an update within like five minutes or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> 62 Lotus Land Trans Am. 66 Lincoln Futura, or actually, no, it's more older than 66, but for the Batmobile, it's the 66. 67 Racer Motors Mach 5. And lastly, 55 Chevrolet Bel Air Gasser. But, 
four. We got pennies now, so we need to buy one of these three. I always like to go with the Bronco. And buy some Nas. Yep, if you want a certain car in the game, comment it down either in the video or on the actual level. Now, yes, I know I've had some comments like Tata Willie's Jeep as well as a taxi cab or some police cars. I haven't gotten to that yet because I just I just wanted to get the main things in here because I had to balance the tiers. If you haven't noticed, there's five cars per tier. So I had to balance them at first and then once time goes on, then I can add more cars, but I'll probably have to balance. So obviously some cars in here might not last too long. Like, honestly, this might be like the first one out for tier one because it's pretty shite. And also, it was the first one done, so obviously it has the most amount of, I won't say errors, but just... It's behind the curb. It's not as good as everything else. Alright. See if we can even do medium. Oh, the loading screen's got little tips now. I think we need, yeah, we're gonna need some more performance points because he's gonna catch up. Come on! No way, we got him! This is the slowest race. How much is transmission? 300. Let's do it again. No, yes. Obvious reason why I'm not. Launching the car in the green is because, well, it's all-wheel drive. It's got much more grip. So it doesn't need to start at that point. Obviously, we'll end up seeing in probably one of the tips that come up is saying that, uh, starting on green, starting on the green shift mark is not always the best. Alrighty. Ready for this. According to our tachometer, we don't even get wheel spin on the launch, so why even bother putting it on the green? Because we're just going to have less power at launch. Alrighty, we got a cash bonus from beating the hard person for the first time. So let's go buy ourselves another car. Now, yes, we could keep grinding so then we can have more money, however... If we just do tier one, we'll get, what, was it a hundred dollars maybe? Because this was like 25 or 50. This was 75 and this was a hundred. Why am I doing that? <laughs> this was 50, this was 75, this was a hundred. <laughs> so we're going to have to go with two choices here. Obviously the stuff that's more expensive that was planned to buy later in the career just for collection purposes. Then we're going to buy the Ferrari. I usually buy, buy this when I'm testing the level, so we're gonna buy the Ferrari. Yep, there it is, there's the tip. Definitely more of a wheel spin car. I didn't even pay attention to how much money we got. I think we got 200. Oh, I need 50 bucks. Buy tires first. And yes, I mean, I guess the way to, proper way to say it is, and no, these cars will not be, be giving out 
for winning races, sadly. Now, the reason why, they're just a thin layer. It's not actually a car, it's just a thin layer of sheet metal. That's because it takes up more space, so I was able to fit more in, but at the same time, because I use sheet metal, which is a much nicer looking material... Wow. My placements on the bottom don't fit in very well. I didn't really check that out when I first finished this. Anyway, we're gonna buy some tires. That's 70 extra performance points. Let's try medium. I think we're up against the Chevelle. Much better launch. I don't know if it's gonna be enough power. And it is. Go. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, nitrous would be the best bet, but. Probably transmissions next. And then fuel delivery. So we need at least some power. Closer. Let's say goodbye, transmission. 50. Let's go against them again, see how much difference that this makes. Completely destroyed off the line until he comes back. A noticeable difference, about 0.3 seconds. But are we good enough to for hard? I have no idea. Especially by the way he's caught up, I'd say no. Okay. Oh no, that still goes through that. I could have sworn I moved that to an obsolete place where that wouldn't have been touched. Still goes through it. And I need a thousand dollars. Well, give it time, realize that I'm not on the track anymore, and then go through it. Sometimes a tip doesn't come up, and I think it's because one of them I made invisible. Probably can wrap it a little longer because the RPMs and the engine can still make power near the end. Unlike most muscle cars in this, power's not at the end. See, it goes through. It doesn't even try not to miss. Seven one. Mm -hmm. All right. All righty. Can we beat the hard difficulty? And if not, then.
sorry for that sh shortcut. Uh, ran over 15 minutes. Come on, Ferrari. Go, go. Come on. No. Yeah. Trust me, I did not fudge that at all. Okay, we got 10 grand. What can we buy for tier 3? Can only buy this. However, I really want to buy this because I like it. 20 grand's too far away. Should buy the G. I'm not gonna buy the GT500 this time. Actually, wait. No, you guys have already seen gameplay of this if you watched the other video, so we're gonna buy this. You guys haven't seen this. So that means. Oh. We need to go back to our Ferrari. the line. I don't really hope I don't get a copyright strike for that. The music, I mean. Hold on, I just got a text message. <laughs> okay, so we need another 1,500 still. You know, I really thought by <laughs> making the shift point really small that would make it more difficult, but it's not. Well, honestly, depends on what car you're driving, really. Sometimes it can come up really fast, especially if you see when we get to the quicker cars. So that's 400 bucks a race. No, we've bought NOS. Yeah, Bronco had NOS. Seven slower. Let's see. Oh wait, we should. Ooh, I. We might be able to afford the Road Runner. J just have that fifty bucks left after it. No, no, we need 300 more dollars. We'll have 150. Now we got enough, so let's buy it. Okay. Oh yeah, and now my uh, gaming setup has been moved to upstairs in my room now, so... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have as big of a TV, but... It's more than fine. It's on my workbench. I can kind of work on my workbench. If I move some things out of the way, really. Alright, first race of tier 3 done. Tires. Or weight. Let's buy weight. It's 100 performance points right there. Okay, that tip right there is kind of obsolete. I, I managed to do something to get it to work just fine.
Now tires kind of sound all right. Oh, actually, no, transmission's better. But we need seven hundred dollars. Did I say I need? 700. Okay. Now we got enough, so we're gonna buy transmission. And we can also buy fuel delivery if we're not fast enough for the hard difficulty. Always plan out your thing so then you're not left behind and you can't oh you can't buy anything because then you'll go into a different tier. Definitely gonna need that fuel delivery. Because the hard difficulty car runs about a 12 second flat. I don't know if you can tell what's behind me. Okay, we got 20 grand. Now here's the problem. I don't want to buy this. And it's because it's not fast enough to beat the hard difficulty. Nor is upgrading a tier 3 car to a tier 4. That won't beat the hard difficulty either. However, every other car can beat the hard difficulty except this one because this was the first tier 5 car and I didn't have a standard set. Actually, no, that's a lie. This was the first. I just didn't have a standard set at the time. So, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna put. Oh, I don't own that car. I'm gonna put this in the tier four, so then I can make a little extra money. It's two thousand a race, and we wanna buy the. We'll buy the Lotus. Um, did I not, what? Did I not use it soon enough? Let's try that again. It, it goes through. <laughs> Probably using it during the wheel spin was not a good idea. spend more money on this, but we will. Buy tires. Screw it, we'll buy engine too. And then we can just do the medium races and get even more money. Because we're going to need a lot of money for a tier 4 car.
know what said it, I don't think I actually got the perfect shift on second gear. Alright, so we got enough for our car of choice. No, you've seen it too much. We'll buy this. Now here's the problem. Ten grand for an engine upgrade. Everything's really expensive for this car. So, probably best to bring a tier 3 car into tier 4 just so that you can make some money. Let's get ten thousand dollars first before we can put stuff into the lotus. Actually, if we get five grand a race, why not just get up to twenty thousand? Hopefully the video game footage doesn't end here soon, because that's 30 minutes worth of this game. It's gonna be a wild upload. We may have already touched nines, but trust me, the hard person... Oh god, that was the terrible wording. The most difficult person runs eights. Eights. Watch how much you just eats. Look how... he's just gone. I got a whole second to take off, and that's kind of hard when you're already this quick. Wait, how much money? Tires. Gonna have to go against this person until we're maxed out. So it's a good thing I bought the two $10,000 upgrades. Sorry there guys, a phone call just come up, came up and it was one of those automated things. Let's see, 6,000, we'll buy transmission. Wasted that right there. That time would be so much quicker <laughs> if I didn't mess up my buttons for a second. Upgrade. Wait. All right. Just see. Let's see the difference of how much this field delivery is gonna have to give us in order to beat this guy.
Oh. <laughs> All right, so without fuel delivery, <laughs> we only need to make up 0.03 seconds. I still need money, don't I? And if you've noticed, yes, we had to go through a jump cut because... Well... <laughs> we ran out of footage time. So yeah, this is gonna be a 30 plus minute video. Okay, we have enough for our last upgrade. Let's destroy him. And that's game. So we have 50 grand for beating him for the first time and 10 grand for just winning. So that is Elbender Classics 2. If you enjoyed the playthrough, hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe for more car content. And if you're wondering, yep, I got another level plan already thought up and I'm gonna st start trying to work on it however I don't know if I'm, it's gonna be successful because it's gonna be another it's gonna be a street racer this time not just a, well not just the straight track drag where it's flat it's gonna have bumps and it's not gonna be the normal power weight grip and shift it's it's gonna be a more traditional top speed acceleration and because it can't do handling because it's just 2D, we're going to do stability. Now, obviously, because I haven't been filming it at all, I've been playing Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 on the 360. So I've gotten some ideas from that, and I'm going to start making some things. So if you already can have an, an idea of in your head about what it might be, Eh, comment if you want, or even if you're watching it this long. But, uh, something else to look forward to. Probably expect it near the end of the summer. <laughs> or sooner. Depends how much I'm working on it. Alrighty, guys. We'll see ya. Bye.